Hi, good day, everyone. Welcome to, to ComEd1 Tourism and Hospitality Digital Marketing. Hello, I'm Sir Kenneth Borio, your instructor for this course. Okay, thank you for joining us in this asynchronous session. And um, this week, we are still in that process of um, finding out what works for you as a digital marketer. And right now, we are talking about the different aspects of content marketing strategy, okay? So this week, I have asked you to uh, do a journal review, if you have remembered from our assignment this week. Uh, if you have, haven't seen that yet, so please check it on your Microsoft Teams account. I hope you're doing well, no? I hope you're doing well with reading those two journal articles and doing your reaction paper to that um to that to those two papers that i have shared to you this time in this lecture uh, we're going to introduce you to content marketing strategies okay so i'll give you time to enter your names on the chat box if you're watching us live or in the comment section below i'm looking forward to come to you commenting as part of your attendance in this um, asynchronous video. So if you are done, uh, it's good. Uh, let's do it. And let's share the slides here. So for those who are uh, not yet subscribed to this channel, please, please get on to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you want to be updated with our latest videos. Okay, so while we're sharing the screen, or we're sharing the screen of this. Okay, so we are still in this lesson, developing a content marketing strategy. Okay. So last uh, asynchronous session, I have given to you an essay activity, please read the journal articles and answer the following questions. These two. So uh, these two articles are, first is from Hayes, Page, and Bujales, social media as a destination marketing tool. It's used by national tourism organizations. That's the first um, journal article. And the second one is by Camilleri, the promotion of responsible tourism management for digital media, tourism planning and development. Okay, so please read those articles and somehow you can make a journal review by um, my suggestion is to read for the abstract first. And then if you have like something interesting to find out, uh, you can check um, whatever part it is, you know, say, for example, you it says that the results so and so, so you can check in the results. Or um, if you see the, the introduction looks interesting, the first two sentences are interesting, so go to the introduction. Sometimes the first and, first and second sentences are usually the, uh, the summaries of the first part of the paper, which is the introduction. And the third sentence, third, fourth, and fifth sentences are usually RRL or the result of the, the talk about the methods, methodology of the study. Okay, so what are those questions you need to answer? First is what is being discussed in the two articles? Just give a summary and then I know, in your own words or paraphrase the abstracts of the two papers. And second is how do these papers connect with content marketing? So <clears throat> submit all your answers in a Microsoft Word file and please submit on Microsoft Teams. So I'll expect those uh, in your Microsoft Teams accounts, okay? So for this lecture on our tourism and hospitality digital marketing, we are talking about what is content marketing? You can say, <laughs> you can either say it's content marketing if you're referring to a noun or content marketing if you are saying it's con you are content you are you're enough you feel it's enough for you <laughs> something like that no um it's 
it's either of the two i don't know with you no it's either your content you your content you are doing something that's that some contains something but also with the term content no that says uh you are being you are satisfied with the marketing like you are saying you're satisfied with your marketing you have achieved the goals in your marketing am i right so yeah let's define what is content marketing okay so this is the description of Brian Days in his book, The Ultimate Guide to Digital Marketing. That's This is how he says, most businesses miss a lot of opportunities because their vision for content marketing is just too small. No? I hope uh, you are aware of that. Some some companies or some businesses might be saying, I, hindi naman mahalaga yung content marketing para sa akin. I, I can do traditional marketing, flyers at all those traditional stuff. But then, they might miss out on the real thing or they miss out on the bigger things. No? That is why he says here, perfect content is not about you, your brand, or your objectives. It's actually about delivering the right information to your prospects or your potential customers at the exact point of the customer journey. No? So you remember the, the eight steps of the customer value journey or the CBJ? that I have, we have reported on for the past few weeks. So this is where content marketing comes in, that you deliver the right information about your product, service, or your establishment at the exact point that your, um, that your prospects or your potential customers or clients come into your establishment or go to the website or Facebook page or other platforms of your company or your service or your establishment when they will get that information how will they get that you know, that's content marketing let's move on okay i'm showing you this front page of the accounting software fresh books start your little today code liners <laughs> Sorry about the reference to Linus Tech Tips. They are a sponsor of Linus Tech Tips, one of the YouTube channels that I, I follow. Um, as you can see here, the, this is the, the front page of FreshBooks. So as you can see, uh, right from the get-go, when you load up the website, this is how you see it. The pricing is there. No, the pricing is there right on your face no content is any information I, I gotta tell i gonna tell you what content is now content is any information that helps keep the funnel full what funnel are you talking about we'll talk about that later okay so when i speaking of funnel this is where we start the six characteristics of perfect content marketing Assuming so earlier in that uh, front page of the website and that home page, you see all of the content is there from um, where should you navigate and what is this website all about? What is this service? What is this app? And then how much is it to acquire that software? And we have all of these aspects come into play, the six characteristics of the perfect content marketing. In this lecture, I'll be just mentioning three. So in our next meeting, we'll be mentioning the others that are four, five, and six. No? So this lecture, we'll just discuss one, two, and three. So let's start with number one. Perfect content marketing is a funnel. As you can see in this diagram, from the start of the acquisition of your customers, I mean, when you're customers or potential prospects go into your website, go into your Facebook page, go into your videos, go into your social media posts. They go into this funnel. And we have these three aspects coming to play. Awareness, evaluation, and conversion. Seems familiar? 
these are just uh, a summary of the eight basic steps of the customer value journey or the CVJ. Or specifically, the first three steps of the customer value journey. So awareness, being aware of the service or the website or whatever you are, you are providing to your customers. Then evaluation, the customer will evaluate if the product or service or, uh, or your establishment or your business is right for their needs. And then the third step is the conversion. Your customers will either inquire more or purchase their service. No, it, it goes either way. That's conversion. And this is where we will put these into detail. And in, de in detail, we talked about the content life cycle. And we divide this into three. And we'll call it tofu, mofu, and bofu. So what are these three acronyms you're seeing on the screen? And what are these things that are being indicated in each of these tofu, mofu, and bofu inside the content life cycle? All right, so let us explain them. Okay, so let's start first with tofu, or what they call the top of the funnel content marketing. So these are actually the three types of content marketing, tofu, mofu, and bofu. And the tofu uh, sounds like the bean curd food there. <laughs> no? So it's like that. No, It's right there in your face. There's this bean curd served to you. This is the food. This is like the, the appetizer, no? the starting point. So we're starting with tofu. And we all see here the different um, aspects or different applications of the top of the funnel marketing. Here are the lists here, the, the things listed here. Blogs, social media updates, infographics, photographs, digital magazines, podcasts, vlogs or video podcasts, microsite, print, magazine or newsletter, or primary research. These are actually tofu or top of the funnel marketing. So in this type of content marketing, you need freely available content at the top of the funnel that achieves this free. Either they entertain, it educates, or inspires those potential customers, those potential clients that you have. Okay, so these are the goals that you need to achieve whenever a potential customer reaches at this top of the funnel, he starts diving into your business. Okay, so let's, um, let's explain. No? Remember, all of those things that you've seen here, ito, no? these are like the starting points of explaining them that they need to be aware that we exist, for example, no? that your business exists, your hospitality business exists, your tourism business exists, your restaurant, whatever that business exists. So these things should capture your customer by, you either entertain them, second is to educate, teach them something. And third, you inspire them. Let's stop with the funnel marketing. And there's a question here. Do you need everything, all of these content types at the top of the funnel? The answer is no. You can just use one. But you have to do it properly. Because remember that the big goal of your customers being at the top of the funnel is to make prospects problem aware and solution aware. So your goal is for your tofu content to raise awareness. Like for example, this one, this screenshot here. So the this is the website or the blog of Whole Foods Market, one of the uh, supermarket chains in the US. So in this website that they have, 
they present a recipe for Atlantic sea scallops. They presented that recipe and that is presenting to themselves that you can cook out sea scallops using these uh, ingredients available at our supermarket. Okay, so that is one thing you should make your people aware. Oh, I'm remember, for example, someone Googles, I, I want to cook Atlantic sea scallops. Then this came out in the Google search results. So definitely the customer will click on that link to find out what are these sea scallops all about. Okay, how to cook sea scallops. With tofu content, you want to create awareness around problems as well as solutions. As you can see here in this blog of kitchendesigns.com, they presented uh, an article about how the tiles of their company graced, graced the Oscars. No? So they used the tiles of this company to furnish the, this red carpet scene of the Oscars. And that's a great thing. Now you create solutions to maybe events. No, You might want to provide something for events when in fact you're just a kitchen design agent. No? It can be you know, something that can be done. You no, know? you go out of the ordinary. So that is top of the funnel. So once you get your customers that they are made aware of your business, tell them to go into the middle of the funnel. And that is Bofu. This is middle of the funnel content marketing. So what composes of the Mofu? These are education resources, a useful resource, a software download, um, a discount or coupon club, a quiz or survey, or even a webinar. Okay, so webinars are great, but they're actually categorized into the middle of the funnel content marketing. You can do webinars as long as your customers or your clients are aware of your business already. So they fall actually under MoFo. And education resources like some uh, websites that offer MOOCs or massive open online courses, they, they, they are actually MoFo. Or discount clubs of a supermarket or a restaurant. They're actually MoFo since when one avails to be part of the discount club, they're actually already aware that your business exists and they want to be interested to shop at your uh, supermarket or, or dine at your restaurant or whatever. So that is MoFo. And how do we uh, define MoFo at this point? No? When, when they are in the middle of the funnel already, the, the big goal of being in that part of the funnel is to convert those problem aware and solution aware prospects into what they call leads. No? So ito mga leads na ito, they, they help your customers provide yan, content for receiving future marketing. So in MoFu, you use free content to incentivize prospects to submit their contact information and opt in, allow them themselves to receive any future marketing messages. So dito nangyayari yung mga promotions sa mga sa mga plug-in plug injury webinar or mention sponsors or uh, uh, ask your customers to like provide some education resources or if you want more, might, might be you want to subscribe, parang ganon. Tama ba? So that's middle of the funnel marketing. So for example, in this website for a cloud service platform, you see um, once they enter or register to the website or make being aware of that website, okay, so why not provide a free ebook? 
So this is actually a free ebook provided by this particular cloud service. And we call this type of content a lead magnet. So what are these lead magnets? It can be uh, education resources like case studies, white papers, or even journal articles if they practice open education resources or OERs. You can also have useful resources, maybe a swipe file, a checklist, etc. Or maybe as simple as like a, a file for like uh, managing your budget or managing your resources, uh, a simple Excel file. No, those are useful resources. Uh, thirdly, can be software downloads. You can ask them to download an app or download a program in your PC to check out how do these things work here in, in your service. Again, you can also use discounts or coupon clubs. Um, ask them to answer quizzes or surveys or allow them to attend webinars or events. So these again are lead magnets. So once you are done taking them into the middle of the funnel or MOFU, now you have to ask them or you will lead them to the bottom of the funnel or BOFU. So then like you are you are suing them, you are um you are asking them, will you I know, will you come to our party? You go to the BOFU, the bottom of the funnel. This is where the the customers will try to convert into customers, as in potential customers, potential clients, buyers of their service. So BOFU can mean a demo or free trial, a customer story, a comparison or a spec sheet, webinar or event, or even a mini class or a mini course. Uh, so what two types of content will your new lead need to make an informed purchase decision? So what I mentioned earlier. So one of the smart, one of the smartest BOFU content are customer success stories, like testimonials of uh, customers or even product reviews or even service reviews are BOFU content. Like they are telling you as the potential client that this service is good. This um, this particular establishment addressed my needs like that, no? So when you put those content on your website, that would mean that there are people already availing their services and they are very satisfied with that. So as you can see, these things can really help boost your uh, content marketing and allow your customers to see na, oh, this service is good. I'll buy it. Okay, so like that comparison chart, and also again testimonials or customer stories. So again, that's number one. Perfect content marketing is a funnel. It's a full funnel. Number two is perfect content marketing is intent based. You intend to engage with your customers. To come up with valuable content assets, you know you have to anticipate the needs of your customers. You have to uh, know, check if, say for example, in, if you're running a restaurant, what particular people would purchase your products? For example, milk tea, for example, one basic example, milk tea shop. You may know that most milk tea buyers will uh, drink milk tea as like a merienda, whereas a snack rather than part of their meals so milk tea use uh, milk tea consumers might sometimes uh, usually anticipate that you will anticipate that they will purchase it around 9 to 10 11 a.m and then around 2 to 2 3 4 p.m at least no to purchase those are the peak times when people buy milk tea no just uh, mentioning an example. No, it's intent. You are intentional in telling your customers that we offer so, so and so offers 
when you purchase something at this particular time. No? And with that now, we have to understand that when you go into that middle of the funnel for this particular part, no, your intent is to pull them into asking them to buy your service. And with that, uh, we will continue with this particular session. No? Um, next meeting, we'll be discussing more of the content marketing strategy in our next meeting. So don't you worry. We are looking forward to uh, tell you about these uh, content marketing strategies and explaining why is it what is a perfect content marketing in our synchronous session. So, okay, so I hope you have learned something from even the first and the second uh, content marketing strategies. You are, I hope you're, you've learned something about from those, um, those points that I mentioned. Okay, so thank you so much, everyone. You are so amazing that you stayed here for this time. Okay, so by the way, uh, I have an announcement I have posted there somewhere. So we'll see you on the next video, guys. Okay? Bye-bye. And continue with your project, with your journal review. Bye-bye. See you soon.